Just another day. It's just another day. It's Monday through Friday. <sighs> Welcome back, everybody, <laughs> to the show. Uh, you guys can uh, call in the show tonight. We've got some my uh, guests coming in at 6.30 and at 7. Joe Rigo at 6.30. Mm-hmm. Las Vegas native. Covers the uh, Raiders. Yes. All Vegas sports. Uh, used yes. to be out here. Had his own podcast as well. Uh be he's, talking with him. He's and, now what you uh, call an insider. O Dog is going to be calling in at seven. We've got Steve in the house. Steve, what's Alrighty. going on? Uh, what is this fine cocktail that you are drinking tonight, sir? Oh Lord! Oh, it's just a little cheap scotch. <laughs> oh, some cheap scotch. <laughs> Costco, Costco scotch. It's Costco scotch. All right. Shot, 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 now, shot. now, scotch isn't really a shots one, right? You don't ask for no, a shot of scotch, no, no, right? No, no, That's a no. sipper. No, I, I oh. brought that for you. What do you have over oh, there? We got a little straw. Knocker, Knocker, can you hold that up to the camera and let that the peeps is, know what we like, got at 7 o'clock like, it's here? A, it's a little liqueur from Germany. Oh, it's a liqueur. Yes. It's called Stroh It looks, deli- it looks delicious. Yeah. It's 160 proof. Yeah, that's 80% alcohol, not 80 this proof. That's 80%? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, you looked at that oh, bottle behind you, that still, that still house bottle. That was moonshine given to us by the colonel back in the day. All right. That was good stuff. Well, that shit is Damn. really good on a cold oh, night in hot chocolate. Yeah, you're sipping oh. it. You're in sipping it chocolate? like the wine. You know when you go get the wine in, yeah. in the Catholic Church, yeah, and you just let it touch your lips. Yeah, yeah. any more than that, and you got a, a problem. Little more than that. A little more than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's smooth though, yeah. all the way down. All right, yeah. we're gonna taste some of that. So get your shots ready at seven o'clock. Um, not got a lot, obviously, going on in sports. So we've got uh, coming down to the. The finals in both the NBA and the NHL. We're going to have uh, Game Three of the uh, Vegas Golden Knights against the Winnipeg Jets, and that series is tied at one one apiece. If yep. I'm not mistaken, I, I right? put it out there, man. The best thing about the NHL playoffs, seriously, home ice means nothing in the NHL playoffs. It's almost a detriment yeah. to be yeah. playing at home. It really is, and I love that about <laughs> about the game and about the league and, and and all that. It's just, you know. There's more pressure on the home team, it seems like, in the NHL than than any other sport. And, uh, you know, I the Road Warriors are doing yeah. very well in the NHL, man. It's awesome. It's kind of always been like that. Though. Yeah, it has. And I love that about the sport. I, yeah. I do love it. Yeah, it's always it, been like that. That home team gets down one goal and just gets quiet. Right. He just gets so <laughs> yeah, quiet. Yeah, like that's the thing. You get that you get that opening goal or two and it, the you take the crowd right? out of it. It's yeah. almost just not it's like all right, we did like you feel But you it's know, it's almost it's motivating. You that's silence huge at Winnipeg. Yeah. You know, it's oh, all it looks so cool that place being wide at wide out. I love that. Oh, yeah. But it's awesome. almost like you know, uh, as the home team, you're so pumped up and, and you're so we need to perform for our home fans. We need to win this in style and Yeah kind of takes you out of your game a little bit whereas when you come in you just play hockey it, yeah. you know you just for some reason you just hunker down and close tight and 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 do the things that you're supposed to do and nothing extra and it, and it works for the road teams and you gotta quite love a, the quite beers a bit of the time. that are coming out some of these oh, guys, the hockey beers like i know awesome. like yeah, i can't fantastic. grow a beard i can't grow a beard but some of these dudes they have to like you have to right and they're just like dude <laughs> That's you need to shave as soon as you get in the Stanley Cup. You need to shave that bitch because it's looking bad. <laughs> Some of them are terrible. Some of these guys got these like Viking like. Yeah, it's crazy. Right. It's crazy. I love it, man. Now is that is that the only sport that kind of has that? I was trying to think. Does any other well, sport it's have the a orig- playoff it's the tradition? Originating sport, baseballs. You, kind of baseballs doing yeah, baseballs kind of yeah. Baseballs kind of tried to do it. What is it? The beard? Yeah, baseball. Oh, if they, you notice the last couple of years, baseball has kind of gotten into the, the the facial hair in the playoffs. No other. I sport haven't noticed other that. than baseball. Well. Ch- check it no, out. No, I will. I'll check it. Just I haven't out. noticed that. Yeah. But it's a hockey thing. I mean, just that's just it's unique to hockey, and I love it. And everybody buys in, and it's it's just a thing, man. Is there any other sport that has a tradition, like a playoff tradition like that? Does the NFL like have? Do you know of anything like that? <laughs> no, no. Basketball, it's, like no. wearing the same shoes. No, or it's like, unique, they all it's have that weird shit. Well, you they know? all have their, you know, their their. <laughs> but no one has with that hockey tradition. No, right? that's that's unique to hockey, and I love it. It I is think pretty it's badass. It, it, and the playoffs have been great. And, and, They've been good. And, and people, and I, you know, it's better than any other sports playoffs. I'm and, sorry, and it's kind of it stupid is. for me to argue because yes, I know that most a, a regular fan would like to see um, 
a big name team like the Red Wings and the Rangers in the playoffs. You know, you're you're rooting for that big name matchup. Mm-hmm. But I, as a as a sport hockey guy, I love the teams that are in right now. Like I'm I'm more invested now than I kind of think I would be if if it was a bigger well, name team like the Red I'm, Wings. I'm gonna balance. Like, you know shows, what I mean? I'm gonna balance. It's like it's cool sport. to see right. Winnipeg. They haven't been there before. I love it. Cool Vegas. I, I, Vegas. There's a history with Vegas. I called Winnipeg a couple years ago. They were up and rising, man. They they, they were a good team. I mean that place what tonight. I, look at that place behind that place tonight, Knocker. They not only they sell out Vegas, practices, baby. dude. In Vegas tonight, <laughs> you're getting fucking hammered out tonight. <laughs> here's here's what I truly I, I I truly believe this. The average fan okay the average hockey fan Mm -hmm. once he gets into the sport loves the sport as opposed to baseball fans who love their team yeah and once their team drops out they bail they really don't care that's i really that's a really yeah that's truly believe because hockey is a worldwide sport it's not an american sport it's a canadian sport it's huge in 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 europe right it's huge in europe it's growing to the other european uh countries but I really think hockey fans love the game, mm-hmm. and they don't really care. Yeah, they have their team, and they want their team to win. But if it drops out, I still think they watch the games more so than any other sport. Yeah. I truly do. Just watching this I just is bad. Love I mean, the sport. to be in gear, you just—I've been there. I played hockey. I know what it's like. Like it's just you jack the fuck up. It's just nothing like. like NHL and they're at playoffs. home right now in the Western <laughs> Conference Finals. They can be his. It's his. So you got history with that, right? Yes. So you have these two teams that are in the Western Conference right now. Yes. You have history with both of them, which yes. is, it makes it both interesting to me. Absolutely. So I really, I, I kind of want Winnipeg to win just because the, the, the Knights Wrong. took no. out. The Knights took out. No. Wrong. But, no. That's just that Kings in me, you know? But it's it'd be awesome. I, hey, Vegas does it. First team ever, right, Knock? We talked about last show. First team ever, expansion, a true expansion team to first year win a championship. It'd be awesome. It, it would be if they a win true it. true expansion team. Yes. No one coming over from a different league. Now, they put or, out a thing. They put out a thing, and I think it needs an asterisk. They put out a thing in the paper today mm-hmm. saying Scotty Bowman right now is the only coach to take an expansion team to the NHL Finals. Well, there was no choice. This was 1967 when they went from six to 12 teams. Right. They put the original six in the East. The next six in the West, so naturally somebody in the West, West is going to make the finals, them. you know, and it just happened to yeah. be Scotty Bowman. Yeah, no, not like this. No, yeah. not like this. It's not You're coming like into what, this. A 32 there was team a fifty-fifty league? chance somebody was going to get there. Somebody was going to get there because all six teams in the Western yeah, Conference were right. first-year expansion teams. Yeah. So he just happened to win it. This is totally different. Yeah, whole this different is an game. established league with thirty-two teams. Yeah, so you're and coming in with premier players, and you're getting. I'm not saying they're. I guess I don't want to use the words trash, but you're getting a team that I don't want to sign you. I don't think you're worth us right. keeping you. They're getting players saying, that were hey, protected for whatever and all, reason. It's almost like a Mighty Duck situation where they come in, knocker, like these bunch of kids that aren't worth, you know, mm-hmm. no one wants to makes fun of. Not, you know what I'm saying? Just It's kind of a, The rejects. Yeah, the rejects, but I'm not saying they're great. They're NHL fucking players. Oh, yeah. They're right. amazing. Yeah. Look what they've done. You've got a goalie in Flurry who was almost outcasted in Pittsburgh. Not even outcasted, yeah, but lost three his rings job. and he's yeah. still an outcast. Yeah, yeah. And, and so he moves on here. It's just fucking awesome. So you're going to see that. Then you go on the other side in the east, and you've got my, what I've always Guess said. Guess who's still playing, right? Yeah, my favorite player. Right. I've, ever, I've You know I've loved him forever. Yeah, you're Ovechkin. an Obi lover. I love yeah, you Obi. Are. I love his game. He checks. He does everything. He works so hard, and he finally gets over the hump beating Pittsburgh. And now you've got them in the Eastern Conference. Mm-hmm. And then you've got the Lightning, who have been there before, but mm-hmm. still an interesting story. I think the NCAA Plus is just great right now. I just love the whole thing. <laughs> the Lightning. The and Lightning. like you said, we're Kings fans, and I, I'm hooked. Yeah. Right? Yep. The Lightning are just just a, 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 a recreation of Steve Eisenman. Steve Eisenman went you down there. You forget he's in the front office. Right. He went down there, yeah. and he built the Red Wings in Florida. Yeah. This is a Red Wings team. They're big. They're fast. They play as a team. I, okay, they lost the first two games at home, but they really put the, the hammer down on Washington um, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, 2-1 they came back in the series. Game. That's what they had so, to do. You know, you've got really right now the best four teams in hockey. And if you're Tampa, you're playing against a team that is – Choke, they choke in the playoffs a lot. Oh yeah, well they got the monkey yeah. off their back just to be in the position they are right now. But I, I, I'd, I'd really, love to I'm see rooting, Washington. I'm rooting kind of like you said though. I think it'd be Washington Vegas would be fucking love great. It. Series. Love that. Yeah, great. <laughs> I love it. And how you, how tempting is it, Knocker, for us to go down and fly right? out and see a game? 
Right? Just take that ticket. ticket. 45 minute flight. Drink the whole right? fucking way. Go see a Saturday back. playoff game. Stay at night. <laughs> the, I'll get the hotel comped. <laughs> no. We stay at the fucking whatever. The MGM will stay at oh, something so, no, close. No, the Monte Carlo right oh, there. Yeah. We'll Better stations. yet. And then I'll we take, just fly we'll, fucking back. No, we'll take the motor home. Oh, Party the whole way. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get we'll one get of my daughters to drive. drive. Yeah. 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 There we go. That's what I'm yeah. talking about, man. We'll go out there. We'll have a good time. Just throw on some. We know. don't want to have to stop for pisses. No. Nope. We just get pissed in there and be drinking all the way to the game. I'm in. <laughs> Let's do it, now. Hangover do style, it. baby. Hangover yeah. style, yeah. baby. Dude. Man, but I mean, I just the wife's like, out. when are you getting show. home? I don't, don't know. know. Yeah, don't know. <laughs> Fuck don't me. ask, don't Fuck know. Right? Yeah. We know we'll meet our dealer halfway out there. You know what I'm saying? We'll meet him in Barstow. Meet him no. in Barstow. We'll meet you at the big thermometer at by the Del Taco. No. At the state line. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah nowhere. Oh, Knocker gets man. comped at the prim. We'll meet you at the state line. Yeah. Right we'll put you up in a room. Parking lot. Prim, talk to, baby. What's your guy's name? What was your What was your guy's name at the, uh, the where you went baller status at state line? Uh, What's his name? James? No, 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 If the bitches Vince, put up, Ralphie. If the bitches put up a bitch fit, we'll just take them and drop them <laughs> a state line. And yeah. then pick them back yeah, up we'll on just, the way back. You know, we'll give them some cash. Just, just let him go. Just let him go. No, you don't have to think. He, it's all right. I thought you might know his name. He was your boy. I can't remember off the top of my head. He's my yeah, boy, man. He was right. your boy. Uh, right. But yeah, overall, though, NHL Plus, close it out. It's just been fantastic. It's the best. And like you said, with the NBA Plus, which we're covering in a little while, I'm I'm... I kind of watch them because I, I want to watch the, the. You know, you even watch Warriors Rockets. You were interested in that game, well, of course, because it's 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 if there's a good series, it's going to be this one. And, and LeBron and it getting smacked been, again, right? Getting bitch slapped. You can't play one on five. I'm sorry. It's well, a good he team. had to, but you had to agree. He has to. His team sucks. Oh, dude, did you see the thing out on on Facebook today? Um, they put you know they put the faces on characters and stuff. <laughs> yeah, they had LeBron as Pablo Escobar. <laughs> I, I, talking to his I teammates. That. No, Have I posted you, that video. Right? Yeah. Oh my god, it's fucking yeah, it's did fucking have, hilarious. Did he have a uh, automatic weapon with him? <laughs> no, but he's no. Oh, do you want to see it? Do you want to watch it? Yeah. Okay, it yeah, I, I have it. Let me. Uh, hear yeah. Me well, for a radio audience, this isn't going to be very no, fun because you have it, to be able to see the Spanish? subtitles. It's in Spanish, and they put subtitles, so it's not going to work very well. Oh, it's okay. We have a lot of Spanish listeners. No, but the Spanish has nothing to do with it because the Spanish is. In the documentary about Pablo Escobar, it has nothing to do with yeah, with what LeBron James is saying. Yeah, it's, okay, it's not, it's the it's subtitles are not. So it's not worth what he's it's saying. No, it's not worth okay. saying. But if you get it's a chance really to look funny. it up, because it's hilarious. Yeah, it's really. We're playing good. a real team with a real coach, yeah. not like the Raptors. Yeah. And if, if you guys don't start playing, I'll be in L.A. next year, and you're being stuck with Nate Green. Oh. <laughs> it's just like it's so fucking dude. funny, man. It, it really is. All right. Now, you guys call the show 626-208-9040 is the number. Again, 626-208-9040 is the number. I'll throw it up on the screen for you guys just so you guys have it. There you go. Um, B9. How you doing there, Steve? Yeah, how you doing, Steve? I, I, how you doing on that yeah. visual right there, Steve? I'm just checking boobs out on the TV, <laughs> that's all. Oh, uh, is that? All of a sudden, we got real quiet over there. What? Hey. Oh, man, dudes. Oh, Ale- uh, Alexis <laughs> Ren came over the, the airways there. Yeah. You go to the man. That is a distraction. It, it is, is a distraction. distraction. Yeah, baby. Um, <laughs> knocker, we had a pretty good, good weekend. We had a uh, barbecue. I left my wife here. outside. Right? What's cheers, that? Cheers to the barbecue of the weekend. Great hostess once again. You have yes, back to we back. had a combo uh, Mother's Day and yeah. birthday for my mother who turned 85. Yep. Awesome. And we had a good time. It was good. We it had, turned we out had really a Mother's well. Day yeah. gathering. You had a lot of people. We had about 25. You had 38, about 38. Right? Yeah. For Mother's Day. On a Wait, rainy, on a rainy, on a rainy day. Saturday. Wait, at, at and they all house? showed. At your house? They yeah. All you had 38 showed. people at your house? Yeah. And they family. All, oh, all, they all family. Showed. It's Italians, man. Fuck. It's they fucking all Italians. <laughs> yeah, so what'd you do, showed. man? Well, I mean, just like... We hung out in the backyard and barbecued, man. Very cool. What'd well, you serve? Yeah, Corn what'd you hole? have? Big-ass hamburgers and hot dogs. Okay. Oh, hamburgers, hot dogs. Went that way? America. Kept all it right. simple. Oh, it kept it simple. Cool. I like it. I like it. Well, you know what? Who didn't keep it simple? Uh, professional golfer. <laughs> 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 What's his name, Knocker? What's his name? Uh... Lucas Glover. Lucas Glover knocker. <laughs> Check this cat out, Wife guys. Krista. Wife Krista. Now, she's a gem. She's a keeper. I'm going to show you guys. She's a gem. I like Check that. Out. Check out this <laughs> knocker. Now, that that don't look no, no crap. She... <laughs> He looks ridden hard and put away she, wet. Yeah, yes. she looks... Yes. Yeah, she... Uh, wow. Well, knocker, you think you had a, you had a good uh, you know, Mother's Day? You think, Talk yeah, you about would, pressure. Yeah, wow. 
you fucker. Well, this guy's fucking Mother's Day did not go well, Knocker, because... Uh, nor did his mom's. No, nor did... Yeah. Yeah, even mom got uh, was fucking... It, was it his mom or her mom? It no, it was mom. his oh, mom. wow. So anyway, yep. to, just real quick on the story. Um, Chris the Glover. Now, his, his name's Lucas Glover, right, Knocker? Yes. He's a former U.S. champion. Yes. And he played in the uh, Players' Championship over the weekend. 09 PGA past weekend. U.S. Open. Right? Yes. So he played in, this, in the yep. Players over the weekend. Did not do very well. No, well, it happens. Uh, I don't believe he made the cut. I don't even know if he made the cut. No, he didn't. So he didn't get paid. Mm. You don't get money if you don't make the cut. Mm. Knock. And uh, the wife wasn't, wasn't too happy, happy about that. I think she. Uh, uh, so knocker. You piece of shit. Yeah, she went fucking crazy on his ass. Knocker. His wife's name is. Uh, What's his wife doing? Krista, right? She called right? him a pussy? She called him and a, a pussy loser? and a loser. At Knocker. the That's banquet. That's what the uh, police report says. At the banquet says. dinner yeah. after the first two. <laughs> what? Fuck, Knock. Knock, keep it going. Can you read this for me? Because it's fucking hard from where I am over. Can you uh, read this? Yeah, Lucas told deputies how when he plays a bad round of golf, Krista proceeds to start an altercation <laughs> with him and telling him how he's a loser and a pussy, how he needs to fire everyone and how he'd be better how he better win. He needs to fire her. Her and, the, her and the kids are gonna leave and he'd never see the kids again. Like, she's, she's a, a bitch. Fuck. Nah, she's a bitch. <laughs> Damn, that's Let me show you up. the door. Yeah, wait that's a knocker, wait yeah. till the PGA hears about this, she yelled, according to the report. You will lose your job. This is why cops get shot in the <laughs> face. Wait till I talk with the judge. You will be the fucking. You will be fucking fired over. This. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! So I wrote the deputies. Psycho, right? The yeah, deputies keep... wrote in their report. Okay, she resisted show. them and refused to get into the back of a squad car by trying to tense her body and blocking herself from sitting down in the car. She allegedly tried to wrap her legs and feet around the frame of the open car door, but several deputies pulled and pushed until she got in. <laughs> Once inside, Krista allegedly damaged the car by kicking the door at. One point during the transport to jail, two deputies tried to loosen her handcuffs, and she tried to get away. It took both of <laughs> both of them to re-handcuff her. It's fucking crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, but you know what? Damn. They always say the crazy ones are oh, the best. The sex, yeah, the sex yeah, must yeah, be you know? fucking awesome. So this is what he. I don't he think it's worth this, it, but <laughs> well, maybe once <laughs> he came out and he put this uh, out on his uh, account Twitter here. Knocker. Okay, What's on it May twelfth, my wife, my wife and mother were involved in an argument. In, uh, to which the police were called. Everyone is fine, regrettably, although Krista was charged. We are comfortable for that judicial system is able to address what actually happened, and Krista will be cleared in this private matter. We thank you for respecting your privacy as we work through the wow. unfortunate situation. He is a yeah, pussy. Yeah, he <laughs> was, right? Like you said. Right? She must Man be up, dude. If that was me, bitch hit my, my if mom. If you hit my mom, she's okay, gone. Okay, I, I, I can understand I a, get little up my, of, a little bit of back and forth with your wife. You hit my fucking mom. Right? I'm get, a fucking oh! I get up man. my driver, right? I'm getting up my driver. The <laughs> that is yeah, just like, wrong. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Right after that, <laughs> fucking done. Seriously. Knocker. So now we had that come out, right? So then, yeah, early, like, she's gonna get the kids. Yeah, right. I don't think <laughs> right. <so>. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go judge, up against that uh, judge. Judge, do you want? Call, you might want to read this. Good you call, might. Steve. You might want to read oh, this. She ain't getting the kids. So, Knocker, they have the 911 tape was released today of the call. Oh, now no. it's she actually calls 911 saying that she the, calls. She calls saying that the mother-in-law is beating her up. Really? Yes. Yeah, so check this out. Here's the tape. TMZ released oh, it. So just God. to give a. <laughs> This is, is awesome. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the here's the call. 911, where is your emergency? I've been attacked by my mother-in-law. Okay. You said you were attacked by your mother? Yes. And my mother-in-law... She is she still there? Into, yes. She's in here. She's locked herself into the room, and she's attacked us. She's okay. How did she attack you? How did she attack you? Hello? <laughs> hi, it's the St. John's County hey. Sheriff's Office. Yeah, hi. Uh, hi, we got a little, I think we've got our lines crossed here. This is, this is the most insane one of the bunch. Same one okay, well, can you tell me what's going on there? Oh. Yeah, my wife who called you my mom, and now she's, she's trying to blame it on my mother, which is not the case at all. Uh, my mother's the one leading us, and... My wife has gone crazy, so. Okay, does she need fire rescue to come out there and look at her? 
Pussy. Okay. The reason why Stephanie's that are coming out there, just to make sure that everything is okay there. Okay, uh, can can I, I talk to your wife real quick? No, you cannot. She is in the house. What's my daughter? Okay. Uh, she's not with you. Okay. And when the deputies get here, they need to talk to the male. That would be me, because the other two are out of their head. Are you sure? Okay, so but she dialed 911, so I need to speak with her so I can find out what's coming, what's happening from her side. Well, she's going to lie to you. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I answered her phone. She's telling lies, and none of it's true. But I want to talk to her. But it's like, okay, thank you. Okay. He's definitely got a cool head. All right. It's not the first time. Hi there. Hi, is this the person I was talking to originally? Yeah, we're not having a great experience tonight, unfortunately. Okay. okay, we do have deputies on their way out there. Can I get your name? I don't know. Do we need help or not? We've got deputies coming out there already, okay? Okay, thank you. What is your name? Um, yeah, we're going to go. Can I get your name, ma'am? Nope. Yeah, okay, sad. Josh, move it, move it down a little bit because I want to read this. Oh, move it, to... move, move. Krista Glover, who had been drinking throughout the day, claimed that that was his mother-in-law that attacked her. This is would be at least a seventy-five-year-old woman, <laughs> but that the last clear thing she said over the phone was when her husband took over, he defended his mother-in-law, saying that the wife had gone crazy. Uh, yeah. The crazy. wife would be arrested and then released on twenty-five hundred dollar bond. Dude, how that guy? How come on, 20, man. How did she get twenty five hundred bucks? Well, it's twenty five thousand dollar bail. So no, but how did she get twenty five hundred dollars? Uh, no, he had it. Oh, he uh, he yeah. put it out. Oh, no, no. He, he's covered for her the uh, whole fucking pussy. time. Pussy. Right? pussy, he is a pussy. Dude, come on. <laughs> Shut the door. Kick the bitch out. My Damn. God. Let her run. I, I'm just saying, you hit the dude's mom. Right? I get a seventy five. Like that's fucking crossing the line. <laughs> you know, if that happened, knock. If that. If that happened and you hit the woman in that case, are you at fault? Yes. If she attacked no. your mom and yes. you, in the process, have to uh, yes, because she insert wasn't a, some she, sort of she wasn't vi- attacking not violence, you. but some sort of aggression. Towards no, if that. if you control her, yeah, restrain her and restrain her, fine. But if you fucking just rock off I and break know, her fucking nose hard, if you break her nose my yeah. mom self defense Michelle in there is a fucking saint if anyone fucking touched her I would fucking beat that person's <laughs> ass I'm telling you right now <laughs> I you I'd let, I'd let him take a couple punches on you and then I'd join it but mom I'd do it right away <laughs> Well, at least give me a couple of tit grabs and whatever. Yeah. If, a, if that's a woman grabbing me, you know, give me a couple of tit grabs and a little ass grab and then break it up. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> as long as I'm holding my own. <laughs> Knockers knowledge. 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 That's right. All right, be knock. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here because we're going to have uh, Joe Rigo coming up here uh, right after the first break here. Uh, gonna get to everything Vegas. We just talked the nights going on, Knocker. Uh, we have um, uh, the Raiders uh, they coming over. Scored. Vegas already scored. Oh, yeah, yeah. Already on yeah, the baby. board, yeah. man. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm just yeah. You know what, Knocker? I want to win a peg to win, but fuck it, man. Keep yep. it in. You know, keep it in over here. Um, we're gonna be talking about that. We got Raiders as well. Knocker coming over in a year. He's got everything Vegas. He's locked yes, in. Everything He's Vegas. Locked and loaded. So we're gonna have Joe Rigo coming up in just after the break here. Uh, also, after that, going to get some NBA with him. We'll talk some NFL. Uh, we've got a bunch of viral videos, a bunch of stuff coming up. Drunks of the week. Uh, you got knocked the fuck out. It's much more so. Stick with us. We'll be right back after this. 